Hey everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So you guys like this video where I was in X Golf and I tried to break par for nine holes and we're going to do it again. Today we're playing Bay Hill. Can I break par nine holes at X Golf? Let's go. So the first hole is a par four playing 355 yards. I got a little bit nervous on the first tee and so I tried to hit a fairway finder to do so. I swing just a little bit easier, still commit to it and uh, just try to be a little bit more compact. Left myself 100 yards into the screen. I'm going to take a pitching wedge, take a little bit off of it. We're putting. A lot of people have a hard time putting on simulators, but on X Golf, it's a little bit more realistic and easier. All you have to remember is how far it takes the screen. You look at how much you have. So I have 39.8 feet. And so I know I need to hit it just a little bit harder to get it to the screen. And then I'm also looking at on the screen where it's breaking. And so I'll just line up a little bit more right or left, depending on how it's sloping. So I have 116 yards into this pin and I am going to hit a choke down kind of controlled pitching wedge. We have a 15 footer for birdie, but as you can see, it's sloping a lot, which I don't love. So we're going to play a lot of break on this one. This is the third hole, a par four playing at 220 yards. It's a lot of water out there, so we're gonna play it safe and hit a three wood. yards out of the thick stuff so we're gonna have to hit a golf shot here <laughs> 28 feet for a birdie putt Thank you. 
We almost had it, but we made another par. Not too bad on this tough hole. So this is the fourth hole, a par five. It is very short, only 381 yards. I probably need to move back on the tee boxes for next time, I'll remember that. But if we don't make a birdie here, then we have a serious, serious problem. So this is where I take full advantage and try to get that birdie or eagle. Twenty-one yards to the pin, out of the bunker. I have to get up and down here. No if, ands, or buts about this. I gotta get up and down. Okay, so. We made our birdie, finally we are under par, which we are at our goal right now, so we need to maintain or even make it a little bit better. This is the fifth hole, a par four, playing 319 yards. Seventy yards. Um, I had a tree. It's fine. Uh, we can we can get on the green from here. <laughs> and we did it. So we have a seventeen-yard birdie putt. Seventeen feet. Excuse me. Seventeen feet. Not any 17 yards, and it is breaking, um, looks like right to left. Oh. <sighs> We're that close to another birdie, back to back birdies, but uh, we'll take our par and we'll go on to the next hole. This is hole number six, a par five. I really should have played from farther back. <laughs> I didn't realize how short it was going to be, so it's a very, very short par five, but there's a lot of water on the left side, and I recommend mixing it up. Play from back tees, front tees, all different tees, because you get so many different shots. I notice when I play from the front tees, you get to work on your wedges and scoring, but your driving accuracy, it really narrows in and you have to find the perfect start line. And so it really makes you focus on how accurate you are off the tee. There's so many benefits from playing the forward tee boxes. And we barely made it, but now I have a great look at the pin. So I have 88 yards into this pin, and I feel like the tour players, I feel like Rory or Bryson DeChambeau, when they cut those corners and they hit these massive bombs, and you're like, how do they do it? And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's how I feel. <laughs> for our eagle, eagle putt, yes. And you know what they say about eagle putts, is you never, ever leave it short. Oh. 
Well, I didn't leave it short. I also didn't make it, but we made our birdie and we are now two under par with three holes to play. 113 yards for hole seven and it's a par three. on that one uh, it stopped exactly where I hit it I was hoping it was gonna roll out a little bit more but we have a long putt for our birdie for long putts <laughs> birdie par bogey whatever it may be for long putts I want you to think of the putts in two sections especially if the greens are very undulating and so I like to break it up and I'll walk halfway see what it's doing then I'll see what the second half is doing Obviously, it's a little bit different for simulator golf, but when you're out on the golf course, that's how I want you to think about it. Break it up into two putts and read them separately, which will help you um, just see what it's doing around the hole. And if it's really breaking, then it just makes it easier. So go halfway between the putt, do some practice swings, see what it feels like, and see how the second half is breaking. is just unfair how did that not go in but hey it was a 42 feet putt foot putt there we go let's uh let's speak <laughs> properly and uh we made our par and let's go to the eighth hole this is hole eight a par four 270 yards this is one i would go for but there is water up there on the left side which i can drive it into and i can't quite carry all of the water so unfortunately i have to lay up and biggest advice here is if you're going to lay up make sure you lay up so grab a seven or a six iron don't try to just hit a three wood and then still leave yourself in a very narrow spot if you take anything away from this video is when you lay up make sure you actually really truly lay up and take the pressure off of yourself play smart left myself with 115 yards middle of the fairway and again that's what I was saying I didn't even really hit that full or had really any pressure on that shot because I left myself in the widest part of the fairway I knew I wasn't going to hit it in any of the trouble and that's what I mean when I say when you're gonna lay up lay up don't put yourself in a difficult position just because you wanna get up closer or cause you're nervous about laying up or you're, you're scared that your buddies are going to like make fun of you because who really cares, right? Shooting lower scores is cool and you do that with good course management. So don't let your friends bully you and do bad golf decisions and life decisions, but uh, mostly golf decisions. Good little shot there, let's make our putt. Oh. Well, it's about faster than I thought it was going to be. I would say that the one thing about simulator golf is that you do just have to take your time with the putting and be patient. You just have to get used to it because it is a little bit different. But I think it's great because you really truly have to visualize because there's no hole there and so you have to focus on your start line and you have to commit to it so although it's a little bit different i really think it does help you uh, visualize the shot that in putt that you want to hit and that helps you out on the golf course last hole hole number nine a par four playing 
354 yards. Let's finish this pretty good round off with a birdie. I smoked that drive. I finally felt a little bit more confident on that shot. Like I said, even when I'm playing on a simulator and I'm playing at a yardage that is less than what I normally play, I got really tense on my driver and that fairway just fell open to me. And so I felt like I could really freely swing through it and that just was a game changer. And so again, like I said, it's good to play forward because it can make you nervous sometimes. <laughs> 75 yards and let's hit a good wedge shot here. Not my best, but uh, let's make a long putt. 33 feet left and it looks like it's breaking both ways. So I'll uh, hit straight. <laughs> Left it a little bit short, made my par. I finished today's round at two under par at Bay Hill. So round of applause, we accomplished our goal of shooting under par for nine holes. And I would say that I would've been very disappointed if I didn't because the yardage was so short. When I'm playing the forward tees, if I don't shoot under par, I am uh, devastated. So I always expect to shoot well when it is a closer yardage. And so I'm going to challenge myself next time and not make it so easy on me. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below on the next golf course you want me to play at X Golf. Like today's video subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next Thursday bye